story is, uh, would have to be entitled uh, The Blue Racer Snake and the Mushroom Story. As uh, I was about seven, eight years old, I had went mushroom hunting the uh, year before with my dad up on the, our uh, relative's property about three miles from our home. So uh, we found a big bag of uh, an old gray white morel mushrooms. So I thought that was quite fun, picking them big old mushrooms, four to five, six inches tall. So come the next spring, uh, we lived in a farmhouse, and our uh, relative house lived uh, to the west of us about uh, a mile and a half, and uh, we always uh, cut through the alfalfa field. Uh, and uh, we always made so many trips that this was just a path, like a cow path. And, you know, of course, them paths don't always run straight. They kind of weave around like the uh, wheat and a wheat field when the general wind is blowing and just weaves back and forth. So when I was about seven or eight years old, I had to go up and go in this forest by myself, where they had cut some big white oak trees down to the barrel stave company people that made a whiskey barrel. They used white oak trees for whiskey barrel staves and made barrels. And they had cut down, I don't know, uh, 25 or 30 of the old white oak trees, and they was laying there, and it was always a good place to... Uh, find the big mushrooms around the top of these trees. That looks okay Actually, this way. The one by the relative's house, he still had his little path. Yeah, it's coming out the top of Steve's head. Uh, they had like a uh, seal rock down this hill. We're hoping that's straight. Kathy said it's good on her side. Down, even down to the woods, and you know how tough that tail is when you're barefoot. It didn't have no shoes back in them days. Sure, I need the answer, but you have a leaf rake here? So anyway, uh, Went down to the big... Nice tree. Huh? Nice tree. Oh, yeah. Putting it to bed. Place where I was expecting to find these big mushrooms, and lo and behold, I looked up, and there was a blue racer snake. And if uh, you've never seen a blue racer snake, you wouldn't appreciate the story, but when they were sitting there, laying there looking at you, they have a tendency to raise their head up off the ground. About eight and, uh, Joe has given birth to an oak tree. Uh, they just look like the king cobra snake. They just looked right in the eye. And of course, I didn't know about the blue racers, but I had heard about these cobras. I thought I had been had. So now my ears stand up on me like old dog bristle between his shoulder blades, and the uh, arms look like a pig chicken with a goose bumps up on me. And I'm really horrified. So I thought, well, now if I could just sneak backwards a little bit, I'll just sneak away from this dude. So I kind of took two or three steps backwards, and what I did, the old blue racer just looked at me right in the eye, and he just eased up. Ready? Yeah, she's ready. Okay. Okay. Our plaque in honor of Henry Lyon. Oh. oh. That was very nice. I didn't realize it was around. Me either. I just thought it was a Yeah, the picture, I thought it was yeah. a lot smaller. Well, I mean, nice. we just mounted it on the just like I was on to a tow chain. We just kept our same distance. So I tried it again. He cre he'd vowed back up and he'd advance right up with me. So I've done that about a half a dozen times. And I'm telling you, if I had had a good heart, I'd have died. But anyway, I thought, well, now wait a minute. Let's reconsider this project. So I thought, now if he would happen to come back with me every time I go back, would he go the other way if I would go at him? So I jumped at him real quick. And, well, you know, it wasn't long. He just turned around went down through the woods just there, just a slither away. And I'm telling you, that mushroom hunt was over with. I come back with an empty bag. I don't think yet to this day I've ever went back up there and them their big oak trees uh, to find them big mushrooms no more. But I thought that would just be an interesting story for that last haul. But, Les, I'll be back with you in a little bit with another one.